welcome to the mathematics and my channel so we have another interesting integral integral from 0 to 1 x minus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 times natural log of x dx okay what is your approach well uh, first uh, here uh, natural log of x replaced in the denominator therefore i am going to define an uh, integral f of a is equal to integral from 0 to 1 x to the a minus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 times natural log of x dx because if we differentiate here x to the a we know uh, x to the a times natural log of x and natural log of x get cancelled okay then uh, if we differentiate here f dash of a is equal to integral from 0 to 1 now here we have x to the a times uh, minus 1 constant so here natural log of x over x square plus x plus 1 times natural log of x dx now we know natural log of x get cancelled so here uh, now in the denominator we have x square plus x plus 1 now uh, we can Mm, yeah we can multiply by x plus 1 both numerator and denominator so here we can write 0 to 1 now here we have x to the a times now i'm going to multiply by 1 plus x over now if we multiply by 1 plus x in the denominator we have uh, x cube plus 1 okay then uh, here dx now uh, we can simplify so here we have integral from 0 to 1 x to the a plus x to the a plus 1 over x cube plus 1 times dx okay then um, if you want uh, you can take a substitution oh uh, now here x cube so I'm going to take the derivative of x cube so if we take dx cube over dx we know this is equal to 3 times x square now uh, we know 1 is equal to dx cube over 3 times x square dx so now we know uh, here we can multiply by 1 uh, it's mean uh, 1 we know multiply by dx cube over 3 times x square dx now we know this dx get cancelled and here 1 over 3 is a constant so we can write 1 over 3 integral from 0 to 1 now here x square uh, so x square uh, we can move to the uh, numerator so here we can write now uh, here x cube plus 1 and here d x cube so we are integrating with respect to uh, the x uh, cube uh, x to the third power so uh, here now i'm going to rewrite this uh, x cube raised to the now a here 2 so a minus 2 a minus 2 now here 3 so we should divide it by 3 and here plus x cube raised to the now a plus 1 uh, minus 2 so a minus 1 so a minus 1 over 3 okay then uh, we can split this integral into two different integrals therefore here uh, 1 over 3 integral from 0 to 1 now here x cube here x cube here x cube so uh, we can transform uh, instead of x cube we can write x so uh, we have x to the uh, a minus 2 over 3 over x plus 1 dx plus 1 over 3 integral from 0 to 1 uh, here x to the a minus 1 over 3 over x plus 1 d x okay then uh, here now we have nice uh, integral 
same type of integrals x to the n over x plus 1 so integral from 0 to 1 x to the n over x plus 1 dx so uh, we solved this integral in previous video I will add the link in the description and also make a card so we know the answer is 1 over 2 digamma of n plus 2 over 2 minus digamma of digamma of n plus 1 over 2 digamma of n plus 1 over 2 sorry okay then <coughs> now we can write uh, here uh, f of a f of a is equal to now 1 over 3 here 1 over 3 mm, but here we have 1 over 2 so we have 1 over 6 1 over 6 now uh, here instead of n we have a minus 2 over 3 so we can write uh, digamma of n plus 2 over 2 so if we take plus 2 we know 6 minus 2 so plus 4 so a plus 4 over 6 then minus digamma of now uh, n plus 1 over 2 so uh, n we know a minus 2 over 3 so if we take plus 1 uh, minus 2 plus 3 so plus 1 so a plus 1 over 6 and for this integral uh, we know now plus digamma of a minus 1 over 3 plus 2 so plus 5 over 6 so a plus 5 over 6 minus digamma of now uh, n plus 1 over 2 so a minus 1 over 3 plus 1 uh, so plus 3 minus 1 so plus 2 so a plus 2 over 6 okay now uh, what can we do ah uh, here not f a here f dash of a okay now uh, if we integrate okay let's integrate uh, now if we integrate f dash of a we know uh, okay integration of f dash of a from 0 to 1 so we know uh, this is equal to uh, f of a from 0 to 1 and this is equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 now we know f of 1 uh, f of 1 is equal to uh, our integral our integral so f of 1 is equal to our main integral and f of 0 uh, if we plug in 0 here uh, we know uh, 1 minus 1 so 0 so we have f of 1 and we know f of 1 also equal to our integral well uh, therefore uh, now we are going to integrate uh, with respect to a so we can write now f of 1 f of 1 is equal to now here we have 1 over 6 so 1 over 6 integral from 0 to 1 here we have uh, digamma of a plus 4 over 6 minus digamma of a plus 1 over 6 plus digamma of a plus 5 over 6 minus digamma of a plus 2 over 6 uh, with respect to a with respect to a okay then um, now we can integrate so we know uh, when we integrate uh, we should uh, we should divide by the coefficient of the variable so here we have the variable we know a uh, 1 over 6 so the coefficient here also 1 over 6 1 over 6 1 over 6 so uh, we should divide by 1 over 6 it's mean uh, we should multiply by 6 and here 1 over 6 so 6 get cancelled and uh, we have uh, now integration of uh, digamma function we know uh, the derivative of we know the derivative of natural log of gamma of x natural log of gamma of x is equal to digamma of x 
so uh, we know integration of di gamma function is equal to natural log gamma so we can write now uh, here natural log of gamma of a plus 4 over 6 minus natural log of uh, gamma of a plus 1 over 6 plus natural log of gamma of a plus 5 over 6 minus natural log of gamma of a plus 2 over 6 uh, limit we know limit from 0 to 1 okay now uh, we can apply limit so here now uh, we are going to apply a upper bound 1 so here we have natural log of gamma of 5 over 6 5 over 6 and here minus natural log of gamma of 2 over 6 means 1 over 3 plus natural log of gamma of uh, 6 over 6 we know 1 then minus natural log of gamma of uh, 3 over 6 mean 1 half so 1 half uh, then uh, we should plug in upper bound so uh, minus natural log of uh, gamma of 2 over 3 natural log of gamma of 2 over 3 then minus minus plus natural log of gamma of 1 over 6 so here 1 over 6 uh, then uh, minus so we have uh, minus natural log of sorry natural log of gamma of now we have uh, 5 over 6 then uh, plus natural log of gamma of 1 over 3 now we know this part get cancelled and natural log of gamma of 1 over 3 get cancelled natural log of gamma of 1 we know 1 so natural log of 1 we know 0 so we have uh, natural log of gamma of 1 over 6 natural log of gamma of 1 over 6 minus natural log of gamma of 1 half minus natural log of gamma of 2 over 3 now we know uh, and gamma of 1 half is equal to the square root of pi now according to property of natural log we can write now this is equal to natural log of gamma of 1 over 6 over the square root of pi times gamma of 2 over 3 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos Please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.